Hey over there, Joe Lunchbox. And Joy Nightingale. And today we have landed right here in Las Vegas, Nevada. Now, one of my favorite casinos on the strip. We haven't stayed there, but just all the weird stuff I see around it. Mm -hmm. And some history behind it is Caesar's Palace. You see now, I always think of the movie Jesus Christ Superstar where they go, we have no king but Caesar. And, and I can say right now, Caesar's empire is quite large here in Vegas. Definitely is. Yeah. So we're gonna look at one of my favorite things that most people know, but I'm sure there's a lot of tourists that just walk by and don't know. A little fun fact, so if you wanna learn, step right up, let's go for this ride. In front of Caesar's one of the most iconic things I'm not talking about the Hangover movie or anything like that, but in December 3rd, 1967, this fountain right in front of Caesars, Evil Knievel tried to jump it. It would have been a 141 foot jump, the longest to jump to date. It's a long, long jump. Now the problem was when Evil went to do it, he accidentally or something happened with the bike it decelerated up the ramp and he came just a little short of landing and uh he flew over the ramp he skidded he tumbled he fell around he actually landed in the parking lot of which was then the dunes casino from the crash he suffered a fracture a crushed pelvis and femur he fractured his hips his wrist his back and ankles and he had a concussion that left him in a coma for 29 days. That's what you call a true stuntman, a true daredevil. And look at the size of this fountain. But a crazier thing is, on April 14th, 1989, his son Robbie Knievel actually jumped the fountain and didn't break any bones. He did it successfully, following his father's legacy. And like, Caesars is a beautiful casino, but I think it's cool that Evil Knievel used this fountain for one of his most iconic stunts. The other cool thing about Caesars is if you walk all the way to the farthest end of the corner of their forum shop, they have the Atlantis show, which is a show about the rise and fall of Atlantis. And I've never seen it, I've only heard about it, and I am so excited. It's every hour on the hour starting at 11 a.m. And it's a quarter to one, so I think that means we're going to get to see this. I'm excited. While we're waiting, you want to look at some fish? Because if you sneak behind it... We actually have a leopard shark. That's right, there's a big aquarium tank in the back of the rise and fall of Atlantis. Look at that leopard shark. Did you know leopards were Italian? Well, leopard sharks are, I mean. We're, we're at Caesars. Joy, Joy, the show, it says the Atlantis show. Is it about Atlantis Morissette? No? Oh, is it a fall, a rise and fall of Atlantis, the lost city under the sea? Oh, okay. My, my mistake, my mistake. It's weird because it's a fountain. Just looking at it, I'm like, oh, you feel like you could be in ancient Rome or something looking at this cool thing until you realize Nike Spooch, Cheesecake Factory Neon. And you're like, oh, I'm in the middle of a shopping mall.
crystals are the source of the spray. Anything happened on the way to the forum? What? No, it was a movie. It was a comic. I was looking for croutons and some lettuce so I could build my salad, but I guess they don't have that here at Caesars. They have it. It's not made. that Caesar. <laughs> no. All right. I'm joking. I'm joking. But we have to go quick. You know why, Joy? What? We just watched, showed you people two things about fountains. And that's a lot of fountains. And after you watch. Oh, that's the fountains? There's only one thing I have to do. One. 
Okay, forget it. We just walked on another escalator. That's why I looked down. Uh, you know the one, one thing when you... There's a lot of water! Number one. Number one! Joy, you're number one! Alright, but I think we can call it right now. Do you think we can call it, Joy? I think so. Let's do this. Caesar's Palace and the Forum Shops. Been there, done that. Remember, folks, safe travels. Good eats. And live life. I'll help you, buddy. Poor guy has no arms. Can't reach. I got it for you.